Today, we're going to explore the symptoms of a bad ignition switch. Let's begin by understanding its function first, and then we'll cover the eight most common symptoms you may experience if it's faulty. The ignition switch's primary role is to control the flow of battery voltage to various components based on the key's position. It is often overlooked in cars because it typically doesn't need maintenance and can last the lifetime of the vehicle. But when it begins to fail, its impact becomes noticeable. There are four possible positions for the ignition switch. The first position is the lock or off position where the battery cuts power to most electrical circuits. The second position powers on accessories like the radio and dashboard lights. The third position sends power to control modules such as the ECM, BCM, and TCM. The final position activates the starter motor and signals the ECM to initiate fuel and spark for starting the engine, starting your car. The ignition switch is typically located behind the ignition lock cylinder. Now, let's take a closer look at the signs of a bad ignition switch so you know exactly what to watch for. Symptom number one, can't turn the key. The main job of an ignition switch is to let you turn the key inside it. For this to work smoothly, the key has to fit just right with the pins inside the cylinder. Over time, these pins can wear down the springs behind them can break, or even the key itself can wear out. When this happens, you might find it hard or impossible to turn the key and start the engine. Wiggling the key might work temporarily, but it'll only make things worse in the long run. To figure out if the problem is with the key or the ignition switch, try using a spare key if you have one. If not, compare your key to photos of a new one online to see if yours looks more worn out. If your key is visibly worn, you can get a replacement and have it cut, which usually costs around $100. But if the problem lies with the ignition switch, you'll need to replace it with a new one to fix the issue. Symptom number two, no crank, no start. If you've ever looked at the back of an ignition switch, you'll notice it has several wires attached to it. These wires connect to the starter motor, lights, and engine control unit. Because these connections involve moving parts, it's common for the contacts to wear out over time. If these wear out, the engine won't crank when you turn the key. In this situation, the key will turn normally, the lights will come on, and you might be able to push start the car or bypass the starter motor relay to check if the ignition switch is the issue. It's important to note that certain safety features like the neutral safety switch, alarm systems, and brake clutch pedal switches can also prevent the starter motor from engaging. If you hear a click when turning the key but the engine doesn't crank, it often indicates a problem with the starter motor itself, possibly due to a lack of electrical current reaching it from the battery through the switch. Sometimes a vehicle may start briefly and then stall seconds later, which could also indicate issues related to the ignition switch or its connections. Symptom number three, Engine cranks but won't start. If your engine cranks but doesn't start, it could indicate that the ignition switch contacts controlling the fuel pump are faulty. But it's also possible that the immobilizer system is causing the issue. Many older cars with immobilizer systems cut off the fuel supply while still allowing the engine to crank. This is why it's important to perform a thorough diagnosis before replacing the ignition switch. Symptom number four. Some auxiliaries are not working or only working intermittently. You may have noticed that in some cars, the radio, lights, horn, lighter, and other accessories don't work until you turn the key. This is because the ignition switch sends a signal to activate or stand by these components only when the driver turns the key. Until then, they receive no power. This signal travels through slider contacts inside the ignition switch, which can wear out over time, as mentioned earlier. While these issues with the auxiliary components occur, the engine can continue to run without any problems. However, these issues can also occur alongside starting and stalling problems. Symptom number five, car won't turn off. It's uncommon, but if your ignition switch is faulty, you might turn your key to the off position and remove it, only to find your car is still running. 
If this happens, you can effectively turn off your vehicle by removing the fuel pump fuse. This stops the fuel pump from delivering fuel to the engine, shutting down the vehicle. Symptom number six, engine stalls after a few seconds. When an ignition switch fails, it can affect the immobilizer system as well. In many older cars, the immobilizer system cuts off fuel to the engine shortly after starting. This happens when the connection with the immobilizer transponder is lost. You might see a key symbol warning light, but not always. Similar problems can occur with a damaged key or a faulty engine control unit. It's important to have a professional diagnose the issue to determine the exact cause. If you notice other symptoms along with this one, it's likely the ignition switch is faulty. Symptom number seven, frequent stalling. As mentioned before, the ignition switch sends a signal to the fuel pump to turn on. If the contacts on the back of the ignition switch are faulty, it can cause the fuel pump to randomly shut down, which stalls the car. The car may restart immediately or after a few seconds of cranking. If it doesn't restart, you can easily check if the fuel pump is receiving power by opening the trunk while someone turns the ignition on. If you hear a slight buzzing sound, it indicates the fuel pump is working. There's also a possibility that the ignition switch cuts power to the engine control unit. When this happens, the dashboard warning lights won't illuminate when you turn the ignition switch. It's worth noting that random stalling and fuel pump issues can also indicate a problem with the fuel pump relay or a faulty fuel pump. Symptom number eight, car turns off while driving. A faulty switch can prevent power from reaching the control modules, causing your car to lose its brain. Control modules are important because they monitor sensors and control the timing of sparking and fuel injection to keep your car running properly. To quickly check the ignition switch, gently wiggle the key back and forth while the car is running and in park. If the car shuts off, it could indicate an issue with the switch. Keep in mind that many symptoms of a faulty ignition switch can also point to other issues, so symptoms alone may not always pinpoint the problem definitively. But, if you experience issues such as being unable to remove or turn the key, the diagnosis is more straightforward. Symptoms like the engine not starting, stalling, or electrical auxiliaries behaving inconsistently are ambiguous and could indicate various problems. If you notice two or more of these symptoms simultaneously, it's now wise to prioritize checking the ignition switch. We hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it.